In this video presentation, I'd like to show you how to use the My Success Map planning system with Evernote, which is a bit of an extension from what you've probably already seen in our document version. Let's quickly review the basic usage, and maybe you've already even been implementing this particular system. So this is where we've given you a PDF template of your success map. And each month, effectively, what you're doing is you're printing out a physical copy of the document. It's around 44 pages or so. And what you're doing is filling in each template that we give you using a pen. So if I flip over and look at that right now, here is the PDF that you've probably started with, or it looks something similar to this. And you, at the beginning of each month, you basically print out this long document. And at the start of the month, you, you do your overall purpose, vis vision, and legacy statement. And then from there, you revisit and write down your yearly goals and vision. And then based on that, you start thinking about what you want to do for this particular month. What are your monthly goals and vision? And then from there, you start breaking down your weekly goals and vision to map to that monthly set of goals. And then, of course, now that you know what you, know you want to do each week, you can start planning your daily goals, which you see here. And then, of course, the rest of the template allows you to do a weekly recap on lessons learned plus a monthly recap. And this provides you with templates for all of those pieces. So the overall purpose statement, the yearly goals, the monthly, the weekly, right down to the daily goals. And as I scroll down here, you can see, as an example here, here's one template that you would use to set your weekly goals for the first week. And then once you've set those weekly goals, you begin to get to work on your daily plan of action. But each and every day, this, p this page we printed out and you'd be writing in what you plan to do that day. Same thing goes for the next day and so on for the entire month. Now this process works great and if you put this into a binder, and that binder then you can track how your progress is going along, how you've changed or altered your goals, the actions you've worked on, what's worked, what hasn't and so on. Very, very effective planning system. The problem is in today's world, a lot of people don't necessarily like the idea of printing out that much paper, especially if you're concerned about the environment. So of course, there are other options. And that's where this Evernote option, this digital option becomes available. So let's flip back over and talk about that. With our advanced Evernote option, the process is obviously a little bit different here because we're going digital. So what you do need is to install and create an Evernote account. So this is a great opportunity for you if you haven't already done so. This will be a, an excellent application for you beyond just the scope of what we're talking about here. I think you'll get a lot of value from it in general. But then you also want to make sure that you familiarize yourself with the basics. So at evernote.com forward slash getting underscore started, there is a great set of little mini tutorials. You'll be up and running in no time. It'll make a lot of sense to you. It's a very basic, easy application to use, but don't let the basic easiness of it fool you. It's very powerful as well. From there, we have provided to you custom built Evernote notebooks that are designed to match each month. So let's say, for example, it is March of 2015 and you want to do your success map for that month. Well, all you need to do is go into our import files, find the March 2015 import file and bring that right into Evernote and it structures the entire thing just like you saw in the PDF, just like you saw when you printed it out, but now it's doing it in a top to bottom digital format that you can use in Evernote. And the great thing with Evernote is it can be on your computer, it can be on your iPhone, it could even be on a web, through the Evernote web interface at their website. And so you have a ton of different options to go in, check your notes, make updates to them, and you have really no excuse to not follow through on your success map planning and action taking. And there, you can start tra tracking your pro progress digitally. So that's the key here. It's, instead of using a paper and a pen, if you want to be lugging around a notebook with you, this gives you plenty of opportunities. I actually want to show you how this looks right now. Here's a look at the Evernote web interface. This is actually the least used interface for me personally and for most Evernote users. Most people use the Evernote client right on their desktop of their Mac or their PC. So this one is called My Success Map. This just happens to be a sample notebook that I created. But if you take a look at this, you can see that each note inside of this notebook closely matches the structure of our PDF that I just walked through. So the very top one, so think of this as a particular month in your success planning. So at the beginning of each month, you do your purpose, vision, and legacy statement. That's in this first note. And there's a, a space right in here in your note that you can begin typing right here. 
type. <laughs> and then next note down is your yearly goals and vision. This is where you review what you're planning to do this year. But again, you're doing this at the beginning of each month so that you can track how things are changing and what you want to do. And particularly, that leads you to the third note, which is your monthly goals. So at the beginning of each month, you're doing your purpose, your yearly, and your monthly, so that you have a structure of what do you want to do this month. And then you move into your week one goals and vision. So for week one of this month, I plan on doing these things. You can type it all in there in Evernote. And then the next note down is week one, daily goals and vision day one. So what are you going to do on day one to start working towards those week one goals and vision? And all you got to do each and every day is come back to Evernote and fill in your progress. What did you do on day two? What did you do on day three? And so on, all the way down to day seven. And then at the end of the first week, we have a week one goals recap. And you would just simply type in a recap of those weekly goals, what you learned, and so on. And then you move on to week two. And that goes right through down to the bottom. So again, this is very close to what you saw in the PDF. At the very bottom, you'll have a monthly goals recap. And there's one particular note that got added there, so please ignore the bottom one. But the monthly goals recap, this is everything we learned this month. Now, what's really interesting about this is I'm showing you the web interface. If I flip over to my desktop client, you can see the exact same notebook is also available here. So let's say I go into my yearly goals and vision and I take a financial goal. I want to make $1 million this year. Okay? Then we can sync that in our Evernote application. There's a little sync button. And then when we go back to our web app, if we actually click on yearly goals and vision, right away, you can see the note has been updated. The, the, the changes get saved immediately to the cloud. And so no matter where you're connecting, no matter which device you're connecting from, all of those notes are in sync, which is great because, again, the flexibility of going digital is you don't always have a notebook in your hand, but you always likely have a device or your computer or a laptop or something handy. So these notes get updated and there's really no excuse not to do this. Now let's say, for example, that you don't have access to your computer and you want to use your iPhone. Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to scroll with my iPhone here and I'm, I've got Evernote installed. It's a little Evernote app. And I'm going to select, let's pick week one, day two, if I select it right here. You can see it goes into the note. And now I'm just going to record a little audio clip of what I plan to do on this day. And then we'll see it sync up in my computer. This is a sample of me recording my voice in Evernote. Now going back, let's say to my web client, if I go to that day two, you can see right away that Evernote uh, recording is now here live in my uh, in my Evernote app. So let's say I'm on the road and I've taken some action towards my weekly goals. I can just quickly record a voice memo and it gets saved into Evernote and I can play it. This is a sample of me recording my voice in Evernote. Okay, and that's a very exciting example for you there. But you get the idea here. There's absolutely an abundance of possibilities here. You can be recording your updates from your phone. You can be typing them on your web client. You can type them in on the regular Evernote client on your desktop. All of these options are available and the import files are there for you for each month. So all you got to do at the beginning of each month is import a new note into Evernote and you're ready to get going. So in the final step, I'm actually going to show you what the import process looks like. So here's a look at the folder for all of the Evernote import files for the year 2014. So let's say, for example, we want to, it's, it's the month of June 2014, and we want to get our success map imported into Evernote. So we can start doing exactly what I just showed you with the iPhone demo or on your web client or on your desktop client, whatever. So we'll double click June Planner. And because you have Evernote client installed, it'll bring up this little pop-up saying, would you like to import the tags? I would just say continue here, don't worry about anything else. And it should import a total of 44 notes, which is the exact number of templates that you would see in the PDF. And it says your notes have been placed into a local notebook named Import 06 June Planner. That just happened to be the name of the file. Would you like these notes to be placed into a synchronized notebook? It's very important that you say yes, because you want to sync this notebook across all of your devices. Now, going over to the left side, you can see it's now called Import 06 June Planner, and it is synced. It's got a green icon. I want to name that a little bit more appropriately. So by clicking on it, I can call it June 2014 
success map, as an example, whatever you want to call it. And now I can begin working on it just like I showed you before. What's my purpose, vision, and legacy for this month? The goals I'm looking at for the year, what are the monthly goals, and so on. Going back to the web client, of course, if I refresh my web client here, I now see right here my June 24 success map is here. And I should just point out that I, in, order, uh, in order to be quick, I paused my camera and actually had to do a sync operation from my, my desktop client. It took a few seconds, but it wasn't a big deal. So you always want to make sure you sync your notes from one interface to the next. It's, it's kind of like saving it. But here it is, and now I can track my progress there. And if I turned on my iPhone again, and I opened up Evernote, you would also see the June 2014 success map in there as well. And that's an overview of how the Evernote integration works with our success map planning system. I hope this works for you. Let me know if you have any questions.